In olden day technology, uh, slabs were more acceptable to not be as perfect as they are today. Now we're within an ace tolerance, which is phenomenal when you're thinking about how, many, how much mud is being pulled, how many yards total are being pulled in, in one day. Typically the workflow is that we would set up a laser scanner off of the edge of the slab that's being poured. And immediately after the slab has been poured and leveled, while the concrete crew is pouring the next section of the slab, we can scan that portion of the concrete while it's still wet. So today we're using LIDAR, a light detection and range finding technology to scan wet concrete that has been placed at this uh, particular construction site. And this LIDAR is a laser beam, kind of like a laser pointer, but a lot faster. And it shoots a point and that light bounces off the surface that we're shooting and we get a return and it creates a point. So we're shooting hundreds of thousands of these per second and it creates what's called a point cloud. And then using the laptop on site, transfer the three-dimensional laser scan data from the scanner to the laptop, do the analysis in the rhythm software to get where the high and the low spots are in the concrete floor. They literally were able to give me an exact measurement and we just came right back in, sent a guy in there, patched it, it's done, never happened. The kind of the advantage for Rhythm for Navis Works is it allows concrete contractors to be able to do the floor flatness and levelness analysis in near real time on the job site while the concrete is still wet. So if they find any areas where it's out of tolerance, they can rework the concrete while it's still workable. If you have to wait until the concrete is dried and hardened, then any high and low areas have to be ground down or filled with some sort of backfill sealant and this typically takes more time and more cost. Rework is definitely not a thing you want to do. There's never a way to get, that, to get that slab to look exactly the same. If we have a quarter inch low spot, like for example yesterday's, that was a five by 10 spot, now you're talking about potentially thousands of, pro of dollars that can be affected by a patch that was gonna be done in five minutes. There's usually like an aha moment where people who have never seen this technology first start to realize that they can get information about their job site that they otherwise couldn't have. They could maybe guess, but then to see it, they immediately realize that this can really save their, their butt on a lot of jobs. The number one thing is I'm going home, I'm not coming back because I know this product is perfect and I'm gonna sleep well in my bed tonight.